everyone, Sharon here. I just wanted to show you today my push hard box that I was talking about in my previous video. Um, this is the one that, that I use oil painting when I'm out doing plein air outside. All of my supplies, well, almost all of my supplies fit into this, but I still carry a backpack with me or a rolling um, bag, one of, one of the two. This is a push hard box made by a man named Ben who owns the company A La Prima Pushad. He makes four different sizes in his Pushad boxes. This is one of the smaller ones. This is the 8x10 box. Um, I bought this before I had even gotten into plein air painting and didn't know what size canvas that I would use out in the field. And really this works just fine for me because I tend to stick with you know, anywhere from a 9 by 12 down. Um, with my pastel painting, I'll do 11 by 14s, but with oil painting, I don't think I'll go that big. I'm still newer to oil painting, so I, it's just the learning curve for me. But anyway, so this is my box. Um, it weighs, I think he said 7 pounds, but I, with all my stuff in it, I'd say it's closer to 10. Um, it is completely magnetic it's a really sturdy box and it unlocks with this magnet here this is the this is the handle this little thing this is just something I added this little handle here pulls down and then this is on some really tight hinges I forget what kind of hinges he says these are but this is not going to blow over in the wind like my pastel box does um, this, this is just an awesome box. And like I said, I have a piece of glass in here that I use for my palette. It is, uh, I'd say, an eighth of an inch thick. I just went to my local glass store and asked them to cut it for me. And they had it ready in five minutes, so it was great. And it only cost me a couple dollars. So that adds a lot of weight to my box, but I prefer using a glass palette versus the wood palette on the bottom here. I suppose you could lay in a, a plastic palette too, but I like glass and I'm, that's what I'm used to. Up on top is where you store the canvases. And I can fit 8 by 10s in here. And then I also had him um, put a couple slats in here on magnets and he'll do any size for you. And I have an 8 by 8x8 eight eight canvas in here so I have an 8 inch slot so that my canvas won't move when it's painted. I also have a 9 inch slot over here where I can put 9x12s. The problem then is that my box is 8x10 so it doesn't close and keep them safe. So I bought this attachment which is really awesome. When I'm not using it I wrap it around my my tripod and it hangs like this and it catches uh, I can put little things in here so anyway it's magnetized too there's magnets here and little metal receivers on the other end and it locks right in place it's not going anywhere and pulling straight up it takes a lot of force so um, when you close it then this little flap closes into this hole and I'll show you that in a little bit so, um, when I'm painting, let's say I'm going to be painting a 9 by 12 this is the easel. Whoops, this goes up and down by a spring, or it's some kind of a coil, it feels like it rolls. And uh, then this is on magnets, and they will go up and down. I lost the other magnet somewhere. Where'd it go? There it goes. There. So it goes up and down wherever you want to put your canvas. So if you like to work lower with your paints but have your easel up higher, you can definitely raise this up just by going like this. You can raise it up that high. Or you can raise your tripod higher, whichever you'd like. You can also lean this forward and then adjust your easel any way you'd like. Then uh, over here is a drawer. When he makes these Peshad boxes for you, he does them custom for you. I wanted my drawer on the right-hand side, and then I have a shelf that goes on the left-hand side. I'm a lefty, so I prefer it that way. Over here, then, is the drawer. It slides right out, and it has two stops on it so that the drawer won't fall out while you're working. 
it stops it halfway right there and then it'll click again at the end and it stays put but it is removable if you continue to pull then here is the shelf it sits inside I just put this on the side over here it's got spots for my brushes and my water if I want to have that there I say water because I use water miscible oils. I don't use the regular oils. But I also quite often just hang my water right here on the front of my hook. In here, I've put a lot of paint in so that you can see just how much I could fit in here. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 35 ml um, paints, and then one. 110 ml plus I have probably eight of these little tubes which are a lot of them are only half full but they're 10 ml and then there's also dividers that he gives you take some of this stuff out so you can see there's a divider on the bottom which is removable it can go on either side whichever you prefer. Now I got something stuck under there. I just kept it on the side that it was on when I got it. Or you can remove it altogether, which I might just do. I don't know why I've been using it. And then I have a couple little small brushes in here. You can fit short brushes in, but most oil brushes are long handle. Some people like to cut theirs down to fit into their boxes, but so far I haven't haven't done that. Then when you're working, you can work oops, I have trouble lining this up. There we go. You can work with it closed, open, halfway. You can remove it all together if you prefer. I like the weight um, on both sides so that it keeps things more still for me when I'm painting. And I'm not going to put all this away right now. So, Also when I'm painting, one thing I like to do is tie a knot in the end of a bungee cord to shorten it a little bit. And I put my paper toweling on it. And then I just hang it like this off of the, off of the front there so that I can grab my towels. And then I also string a grocery bag, plastic grocery bag through there so that I have my garbage. Everything is contained nothing will blow away in the wind that way and it's very nice and of course you can adjust your tripod up or down this fits on a, a regular standard tripod head he puts a screw plate in the bottom so that you can fit your your head for your tripod onto the uh, Peshad box and the other thing I wanted to show you was how, oh, when you're putting this away, you can also set it in the top here if you don't want to put it in the drawer. Um, I don't do that because I have that one eighth inch piece of glass right here and it is just slightly higher, just by a smidgen, so I can't really fit it in there. But I just put this in like this and that's it. Now, to go, I'm using my 9 by 12 canvases. Say I have my painting all done here. I'll just fit them all in here. That'll be fine. Put my 9 by 12s in the back. Have my 8 by 10s in front. They won't touch each other. You can put two paintings in here and have them safely stay dry or stay smudge free. I have four in here now because they're all dry. Um, then my lid here. I'm going to tip this up so that you can see what I, how I pack this when I'm leaving. Just bring it up a little bit like this. I'm going to close this down. Then I put this over the top like I showed you and then the lid comes up like that and it's all set to go. There's a safety strap here to keep this on in case it should come off. I've never had it come off but I always use this strap just in case. Then all I gotta do is release my tripod head and I'm ready
ready to go. Now it's a little bit off centered with this on, but when it's when it's off, it sits perfectly straight. I've been meaning to um, add a shoulder strap, but I haven't done that yet, so haven't really needed it. But anyway, that's it. It also fits in a backpack really easily because it's nice and small. The bigger you go, the longer you have to carry it. So that's just why I got a small one. But thank you for stopping by. Have a great day.